With the 10th pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Chicago Bears select Darnell Wright, offensive tackle, Tennessee. They've got a big fella in Darnell Wright, 330 pounds, and he ran the 40-yard dash at the combine in just a tick over five seconds. Yeah, this is a guy who really came on late in his career. He's always had the talent. He's always had this size, but he saw it all come together. If you were just to evaluate this one take against Will Anderson Jr., you'd say he's maybe the number one overall pick or the number one offensive lineman, at least. It wasn't always at that level, but he got to the senior bowl. He was dominant against really good pass rush. He shows up at the combine, runs as well as you said there, Reese. He has all the physical tools. Now Chicago's got to make sure nutrition, keep his weight down, keep him focused on, on what he did this past year. Because if he bottles that up, he's got a chance to be a great player in the league. With the 53rd pick of the 2023 draft, Chicago Bell select Javon Dexter Sr., Florida Gators, D Tiger. Dexter is. He's kind of the definition of a flash player because you'll see certain plays in certain games where you're like, whoa, this guy has got some big time juice. He's almost six foot six, he's 310 pounds. So he plays like somebody that's much smaller in terms of his athleticism and his burst. Ran really well, ran a 48840. He's got some knockback, but it's just a consistency. If he had been consistent with those flashes that you see, he would have been a first round pick all day long. You can see how dynamic he is. Do you know where he was rated, who he was rated just ahead of in recruiting? Jalen Carter. So like he's got the talent. You but you're can right. see the glimpses. You can of see it. it. There's glimpses there, and he's like a developmental type of guy. If you can get that out of him, man, he could be a special player. With the 56 pick in 2023 draft, Chicago Bear select Tyreek Stevenson, DB, University of Miami. Wow. Tyreek Stevenson is a transfer from Georgia. Played inside there, goes to Miami so he can play outside. The toughness I love. That's the first thing I wrote down when I was studying him. He loves to go nose to nose, play man to man, very physical, very tough. And you see him get under the skin of some of his opponents with that energy he plays with, go up and attack the ball at the highest point. Showing you an example again of the ball skills down the field. Some teams thought he might end up being a safety. He's played nickel, he's played outside. To me, wherever you play him, you're getting one tough, competitive defensive back. With the 64th pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Chicago Bears select Zach Pickens, defensive tackle, South Carolina. Another athletic defensive lineman that they've just added. They had Dexter, who's a big 300 plus pound guy at almost six foot six, who ran under five flat. Now you bring in Pickens, he ran 489, 34 and 3 eight inch arms. The traits are there, the explosiveness is there. He is fun to watch. These are upside plays for Ryan Poles. They're going to the line of scrimmage. They did it first with Darnell Wright in the first round CD. Now they come back with a couple defensive linemen. They're chasing upside. They're chasing some big time traits up front with Ryan Poles. And in Indianapolis with Ryan Eberflus was a, the, excuse me, Matt Eberflus was the defensive coordinator. They built from the line out in terms of what they were doing on defense, trying to do that now in Chicago. The 115 pick in the 2023 NFL draft pick, the Chicago Bears select Rashawn Johnson, running back Texas. So out of Texas, it will do everything guy, Roshan Johnson, tough, hard-nosed runner for the Longhorns. Yeah, there's a lot to like about this guy. He was an All-American high school football player. He's six foot, 219 pounds. He does not play like a high school quarterback. He runs with, with violence. He runs between the tackles. And what I love about him, like, his intangibles aren't just good. They're phenomenal. Roshan is our leader. That's what Sarkis has said. That says a lot. No, he's not going to run away from guys. But for the Chicago Bears, you want a power running back who can catch the ball into the backfield as well. And he's going to be great on special teams, guys. Some guys don't like to do the little things. He, like, takes great pleasure. Because this guy will absolutely stone you. That's a great attitude pick right there. He's going to set a tone for this offense. With the 133rd pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Chicago Bears select Tyler Scott, wide receiver, Cincinnati. I thought he 
you could have gone in the second round because we think these burners, a wide receiver, they're going to go a little bit earlier than expected. He could be a little bit of a body catcher. I think that's one of the biggest concerns, but he was productive at Cincinnati. 4-3-7 speed at the Pro Day, guys, at 5'10", 177. Short area quickness is there. Ran a 4-2-5 in the short shuttle. 15 reps of the bench press. That's 225 pounds he's wrapping out, Lou. He only weighs 177. The strength is there. This is a complete football player, and once you get him the football, he is out the gate. He is gone. He is a big play threat waiting to happen. And I'll tell you, Justin Fields is going to be happy with this guy because of his versatility and the fact that he doesn't have to always chuck it deep down the field. Just get it in the hands of guys like him, and he will take it. To, he will do the rest of the work. With the 148th pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Bears select Noah Sewell, linebacker from Oregon. The Sewell family, a rich football tradition, former five-star recruit, and Panay's younger brother, as you talked about, he can play the Mike or the Will position. He is a guy who is just uh, a downhill key and diagnoser who is usually in the right spot at the right time, no false steps, has great hand use, and I mean great hand use. You see linebackers who try to shock and shed, but usually get stuck one-on-one. -on -one. You never see Noah Sewell getting stuck on blocks. They like to get him out on the edge and blitz him a little bit because he has a big run hit factor, meaning when he gets going downhill, he usually de delivers a nice pop, good zone drop awareness. Hey, hey, Reese, remember yesterday when I said there are no college linebackers that stack and shed anymore? Yes. Uh, I lied. There's Sewell done does. really yes, well. Sir. Chicago Bears looked into Big Ten territory and took Terrell Smith, the cornerback, out of Minnesota. Talk about the traits and the mentality you want when he closes quickly, when he reads the quarterback's eyes, anticipates well. I thought he was a good tackler overall. Yep. He got after it, played a physical brand of football from that cornerback spot for the Golden Gophers. So you let off with it. It's the speed. It's the athleticism that is there. The traits are there. He hasn't played a lot of special teams in college. That's going to come. That's going to learn. But the effort is absolutely there. P.J. Fleck thought this guy was going to leave. He had offers to leave, and the transfer portal didn't do it, which speaks to you know, the maturity, the leadership that he's going to bring to the Chicago Bears, which has really been a theme of their draft. Tough players, hard-nosed football players, high-character guys that can help build the culture of this team. I'm a, I'm a Terrell Smith fan. I wouldn't have been shocked if he'd gone early in the fourth round, maybe even late in the third round, because of that speed and size makeup that he has. With the 218th pick, in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Chicago Bears select Travis Bell, defensive tackle, Kennesaw State. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite human beings. He is a special person. I love the intensity that he plays with in football and practice is recess to him. He is powerful. When he puts his hands on you, he's gonna dent whoever's in front of him. It doesn't matter. He's athletic. He's very sudden and quick, and he plays with a passion. Watch him go make plays sideline to sideline. You know, for a guy that weighs 300 plus pounds, to watch him run around and make plays is, is it's fun to watch. When he flips the switch, you need to get out of the way now. But not only that, he became a leader on our football team that all the guys would go to and respect it. I don't think you'll get a better young man um, that's gonna be more committed to doing things the way they need to be done. With the 258th pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Chicago Bears select Kendall Williamson, defensive back, Stanford. I guess we should have David Shaw in here. He's been in the building all this weekend because he'll definitely know Kendall Williamson. Kendall Williamson, uh, defensive back, that what he's hurt because he just doesn't have a lot of ball production. Only one interception career for him in his entire time at Stanford. Pass defense down at you know, 14, but he's a safety. He's got good size. And what the Bears are looking for is a little more depth at safety uh, because you've got Eddie Jackson, who you know is, is a veteran, mm -hmm. and he's been a very good veteran, but he's getting a little bit older. And so you want to start finding some guys who might be next up or who might at least be able uh, to fit in there and, and, and be a, comp a, a, a competitive backup if he needs to get in the game.